In this film, we're gonna show you a simple way to measure your bathroom so you can easily tackle the planning stage. You will need blank sheets of paper. A4 is perfect. First, make a sketch of your bathroom's floor layout, including the current position of the toilet, the basin, the bath, etc. Also, the position of the door and the direction in which it opens. Add details of any items such as the alcove. Also, make a note of where the outlet from the toilet, the basin and the bath, etc. go, i.e. through the wall, along the wall, outside or into the floor. This will help at the planning stage if you intend to move the position of any of these items. Next, you will need to make a sketch of each wall, including the position of any windows, electrical fittings such as shaver points and light switches, radiators, air vents or extractor fans, and any other fixed objects that it will be necessary to work around. Start by measuring between each fixed point in the room. This means measuring the distance from the edge of the door frame architrave to the corner of the room, the corner of the room to the window reveals, and so on, and measuring the size and position of all fixed objects including the bath, toilet, etc. Record the dimensions as you go. Pick a starting point and work clockwise from it to make sure that you don't miss anything out. You will also need to measure the height of the room from the floor to the ceiling and measure any other vertical distances until the whole room is mapped. Don't be tempted to stand on the bath, the toilet or a chair when measuring at high level. Always use a step ladder when taking high level measurements. You now have an accurate diagram of your bathroom ready for planning its new look. Before you reach a stage where you can start planning, there are a couple more things to consider which may affect your final design. So whether your bathroom is upstairs or downstairs, and if there's a hot water tank on the same floor or not, this will have an impact on your choice of taps and shower controls. Make a note of what kind of water heating system you have, and whether or not you have a water storage tank. It's a good idea to take photos of any cylinders or tanks if you can. Pop into your local store and an expert will help you check which tap is right for your system. Another consideration in the bathroom is the possible location of an extractor fan if you need one to be fitted. You should also make sure that if you move things around in the bathroom, the light fitting will still be in the right place. So you can see why you're in the shower in front of the mirror, for example. Remember that the numbers are what's important here, not the drawing. As long as your diagram is clear and the numbers are correct, you don't need to produce a work of art. Leave that for the planning stage. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.